Just a friendly reminder to anybody that's doing a Let's Play, make sure you have a backup save, because if you don't, you'll have to play through the entire game up to the point that you screwed up at. That was me. Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. <sighs> I gotta say, that happens sometimes, and I hate it. Ugh. <laughs> This this game has shown me the frustrations of recording and editing and all that stuff. Oh, all right, so back to Serena Beach, the secret of Casino Delphi. I don't know why I had to throw an accent in there, but I just had to apparently. But anyways, ugh. yeah, so. I recorded a, uh, a previous segment, and it was bad. It was just, ugh. I, I had no enthusiasm. It was early in the morning, and I was just, like, drained. But, I mean, this next week, oh, this should be a good week, because I have at least one free day off. All I'm doing this week, I'm not working at my internship job. I'm actually doing karate camp, and I'm just going to be enjoying life for a bit. All right, so... If we want to get into this casino, we have to go over and talk to this guy. Ah, oh, Mario, right this way, please. And once we enter, we're going to be the play... We're going to be... <laughs> we're going to be playing the magical game of slots. Ah. Now, we just have to wait until it lands on seven. Lands on seven. Lands on seven. Ah. Yeah, this particular game of slots is really annoying because, I mean, it may be individually, but sometimes it just takes forever. In my previous recording, I actually got it done, like, like the first try relatively quickly, so I was just like, oh, oh, thank you. But that never happened again. All right, one set is done. So we come over here, and this one plays like normal slots in casinos. Frame, all of them go off at once. And it looks like I'm just gonna get one coin. Or one seven and two coins. Okay. That's how I got a coin. Alright. So we have to wait until seven. Come on. Ah crap, booze. If you get three booze, a boo appears. That's all you need to know. Again, really? Come on. Oh, never mind. I don't mind that. Okay, dive! Dive! No, person, you got my way! Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, there was an automatic cutscene. I was trying to see if I can dive closer to it before the actual cutscene happened. <sighs> Anyways, now we got this flippy panel in order to get to the secret level here, so, ugh. And this is actually pretty annoying because. How the heck did I hit three on the bottom? Because of that. Sometimes your water hits in weird locations and as a result just starts coming up with weird random locations. And it's honestly the most annoying thing ever. Especially considering that thing, I shoot it once and then it flips like 10,000 times for no reason. There we go. Ugh. Stupid flippy puzzle. Mario, jump in the hole. Okay. Oh, shoot, I skipped that intro. Damn it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyways, this puzzle is all about moving blocks. And this... It's not that bad, though I die a lot, considering that fact. Uh, this level tends to just kick my butt for whatever reason, and mostly because I suck at platforming without the hover nozzle. I don't know, it's... I feel like the, uh, like, whatchamacallit, the platform in this game was never optimized without the hover nozzle. It, it's just like, why even put this feature in here? It just kind of seems like an afterthought. And maybe because this was the beta version of what Super Mario Sunshine was supposed to be. 
but I don't know. I honestly think that the hover nozzle in this game is the best way to do platforming because it, it gives you an extra chance for any mistakes that you might make. Uh, and with that, we actually got here in relative ease. Compared to my previous attempts where I died like five times. We don't talk about that time. Please. Continue. Don't save. Ugh. I really, really hate him when I did that. I just kind of went, oh, I saved. Oh, crap. I, I basically lost myself and it was just like, oh, jeez. Oh, crap. But it's not that bad when you actually try to do, like, save. But make sure you at least have a backup save in case you're recording something. Because that's one thing I've learned over the the several years that I've played this game. It's just... Or not this game. Yes, I've been playing this game for several years now. <laughs> um, what I've learned from recording LPs for a long time... Backup saves are your friends. Uh, oh, M Mario, the casino, this way. Well, actually, I must admit that unfortunately the casino is closed today. You see, there are some creepy sounds coming from the basement. Uh, could we trick you? I mean, ask for your help. Oh, thank you. Really? See, this is the whole reason why I got sucked in Luigi's mansion in the first place because Luigi was pussy and then he showed up later. Ugh. Swear. Plot devices. And at least this time we can kick King Boo's butt. Ugh. So what we have here is a boss and honestly this is why I draw a lot of parallels with Luigi's Mansion with this game is because of this. It's just kind of weird because this is King Boo in this game. If you actually compare King Boo to King Boo from Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario, oh, <laughs> Luigi is sad again. I am sad at Luigi. If you compare um, Luigi's Mansion to uh, Super Mario Sunshine's King Boo, it is a weird difference between the two of them and I don't know what happened maybe like when we beat King Boo in uh, Luigi's Mansion he became a little bit more docile or maybe this is just a different King Boo entirely there's King Boos for every region Ugh, who knows all right so mostly for King Boo let me explain the boss battle since I've been battling him you roll slots and then you have to get fruit and then throw a pepper into him and then throw fruit to damage him. Other than that, he has several different things that he can spin. He has coin, he has mystery, he has um, those weird walking creatures or whatever. Those can appear. I hate mystery because Cataquax! Cataquax! Get out of here! Come on! Get out of here, Cataquax! I don't need your stuff right now. I don't need your crap. Ah! At least the blue ones don't do damage, but I still hate you. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you have to wait for the enemies to despawn before the next phase comes up. But if you're lucky enough, it will usually be one cycle of bad and then one cycle of good. Usually results in fruits in which you can use to damage him. Other times, he might end up just doing like something like, ah, don't pick up the Duran because you can't. Mario. Thank you. There we go. He might end up doing coin, which is a little bit annoying. And it's just like, come on, game, really? I don't need that right now. Other times, if you end up getting on a slot that's broken, he spits out, like, water bubbles that you can actually use to refill uh, your nozzle. But, I mean, honestly, there isn't that much to do if you do that. Okay. Hey, let me jump on the fish. There we go. Why did I take damage from it? All right. 
And if we're lucky enough, this should be the last phase. Okay. All right, cool. So I don't have to worry about King Boo. He's about to be defeated. Honestly, what's up with bosses always giving up weak points in Super Mario games? Where they actually throw the item that's most likely gonna kill them, like Bowser fights. Come, okay. Pick up something. Pick, pick up something. Yes. There we go. Jeez. I just kept diving for stuff. All right. But yeah, what's up with video game fights where the weakness of the enemy is usually around them when, you know, you could hide that away and, and keep yourself vulnerable? I mean, invulnerable. Uh, I don't know. It seems antagonists in video games seem to do that and they show the red fuck me light as well, aka their weak spot. Uh, sometimes video game logic just doesn't make sense. And it's best that you try to ignore it because it's fucking stupid. Huh. Uh, I don't know why I'm tapping into my inner rage today, but I don't care. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, that's just an end joke with me and my friends. We end up just singing that song all the time. Alright. So, now scrubbing Serena Beach. Hey look, it's a smile. We gotta take that smile away. So, this is a time mission. So, our objective is to get rid of most of this electric goop. And honestly, this mission for first-timers can be a little bit daunting. Like, most first-timers might not be able to beat this mission the first try. But then there will probably be somebody in the comments that says, oh, I did this my first try, it wasn't even hard. Good for you. There's other of us out there that couldn't do it, aka me. You know, most of my missions that I've done first time in this game, I suck that. You know why? Because I'm not good at this game. I never claimed I was good at this game. Like seriously, I've 100% in Super Mario Sunshine once. Mostly due to the blue coin collecting, but you know, who likes blue coin collecting? The one person that raises their hand. Good for you. Me? Eh, it's monotonous. I, I mean, I collect all the pieces of part in the Legend of Zelda game, but you know what that does? It gives me a bonus. I like getting bonuses. Like extra life. Or getting Peach. Maybe your brother. Maybe I want to play as Luigi. Maybe I don't like Mario as much. Maybe I think Luigi is the bee's knees, you know, because he's wearing green, man. I, I like him. I don't like Mario so much. Maybe I just want him. But, yeah, generally, it all comes down to preference. And just... In this game, there's not really a good reward for collecting all... 120 shine sprites and collecting all of... Really? How much more goop do you want, dude? And collecting as much uh, of the blue coins as possible. It's not the funnest, but hey, I'm willing to do 100%. Seriously, how much of this goop do you want? I got like 90% of it. Are you kidding me? Game. Okay. He just wants me- look! Look, I just sprayed a little bit, jeez, okay. <sighs> Alright, dude. <sighs> Usually I can get done with, like, a minute 20 seconds left, but this guy was being stingy. What do you want? Wow, that was great! I never expected you to do it so easily! Fantastic, Mario. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> and you! You are also holding a shine? Shame on you! Shame on anybody that's doing that. There's a crisis going on, and you guys are hoarding this. Oh, and we haven't gotten to the biggest contender of all, but we'll get to that eventually. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Alright. So we're gonna do one more mission before we end out this part, and guess what it is? It's Mario! Shadow Mario! Uh, I can't do a note while, so why am I even trying? Alright. So, we gotta take ourselves on to Mr. Shadow Mario. He checks into Hotel Mario. I don't know what I'm going with this. This is actually pretty horrible. Let's just let's do the mission. Ah, <sighs> honestly, this is one of my weird days. Like, I can't really explain it. I'm just kind of out of it, just doing stuff. <laughs> All right, come on. 
Let's do this, old man. Oh, Mario, there's a troublemaker inside who looks like you. Hurry, get in there. Yeah, sure, whatever. And Shadow Mario returns. Our checks in. Shadow Mario's a douche. He needs to get off Craigslist. Yeah, but for the most part, it's typical Shadow Mario mission. He does the same old, same old. Does crazy stuff. Jumps. Is a crazy person. Come on, Shadow Mario. And he's done. All right. That was a mission. Woohoo! Kicked his butt. All right. Sha. I gotta say, not a bad mission. Not a bad mission at all. Yeah, 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 we know. All right. So we're gonna stop here for today because that that's all I wanted to do. I mind if I mind if I try Mario. You got a problem with that? Then deal with it. Take it up with PR, man. Oh wait, there is a PR. Ha 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 ha. I'm the one being such a dick today. I've got insane, guys. It's already happened. No, that happened a long time ago. I have just embraced it and now I'm completely in the insanity. Hope you enjoy though. <laughs> I need help. <sighs> well. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go shoot my shrink now. See you guys next time.